Hello, very good morning, dear students. Welcome to digital classes. Today, as we have finished our unit two solution, and yesterday also we have discussed some of the numerical related to Venthoff factor. Today, I am going to conclude this whole unit in a revision map way. So, welcome to revision map. As the name of the chapter is solution, it is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. The substances less less in amount is called solute, and the substances excess in amount is called solvent. In case of binary solution, the chapter is going to be divided into basic four part. Number one is method of expressing of concentration, that is mass percentage, mole fraction, molality, molarity. After this, polymerity, normality, and part per million is also there but most of the importance that numerical is coming that is coming related to mass percentage mole fraction molarity and molality so dear students as you know very well about the mass percentage it is the amount of solute upon amount of solution multiplied by 100 and multiply by 100 is just to relate the percentage okay where wa is mass of solute and w b is the mass of solute and w a is the mass of solvent as some of the students were asking how to determine the solute and solvent sir so a is always solvent b is always solute okay second mole fraction it is denoted with x and in this case x is equal to n upon n plus n it means that number of mole in solute uh, uh, solvent upon the number of total number of mole in solution okay similar way in, in case of solute it is total number of solvent uh, is equal to total number of solvent upon total number of mole of solution okay so n is mole of solvent and small n is mole of solute molarity and molality there is one one small difference that is one is the spelling r and l if r is there liter is there so it means a per liter if liter is there then it means a per kilogram okay so this is volume this is kilogram so this there are uh, some difference between molarity and molality also the most important difference is the molality is not affected by temperature where molarity can be affected with temperature as you know that at the moment temperature will increase the volume will also change okay so after this second part is solubility in solubility we discuss the it is the maximum amount of solute that can be present in a specified amount of solvent at a given temperature so there are two types of solubility that is liquid in liquid and solid in liquid where liquid in liquid case we have discussed about the henry's law it is affected by change in temperature pressure and nature in solute and solvent where henry's law is what it state that the solubility of gas in a liquid when gas will dissolve in liquid it is its solubility is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas present above the solution that is p is directly proportional to kh upon x whereas kh is henry's law so this also we have done in basic so the third topic of this chapter is vapor pressure now what is the difference between pressure and vapor pressure vapor pressure is that it is the pressure exerted by vapors at a liquid surface at a given temperature as you know when we are taking a solution in a closed container the liquid which is present as a solution in in the form of liquid the moment we will increase the temperature the liquid will slowly slowly change into gas is particle okay and as the container is closed so one stage will come when the number of gases particle which is evaporated form which is in vapor form these are going to be create pressure on the surface of this liquid and that surface is called that pressure is called vapor pressure okay this is happening at the equilibrium stage so in this case case we have done two type of solution that is volatile solution and non volatile solution volatile solution is what in which liquid plus liquid will form solution that is volatile and in case solid in liquid will form non volatile solution so this is volatile and non volatile solution so rolls law in volatile non volatile solution in both the cases we have discussed as it was the one of the doubt also in doubt clearing class also hope so you understood now it state that p is directly proportional to x it mean that it state that vapor pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction here p is partial pressure x is mole fraction and total p is p1 not x1 plus p2 not x2 so on okay so this is also one of the important topics maximum students are getting confused with rolls law and henry's law so you need to see henry's law is what it is the solubility directly proportional to mole fraction and rolls law is what it is vapor pressure vapor pressure directly proportional to mole fraction okay due to this common mole fraction students are getting confused so it should be clear to you then according to rolls law there are two type of solution ideal solution on the basis of rolls law the solution is divided uh, into two part ideal and non ideal as the name is there ideal non ideal so ideal is those solution which obey rolls law at all condition of temperature and pressure where delta h is always zero delta b is always zero where the a b interaction is always equal to a a and b b interaction okay this is also one of the important so this things we have done in detail so watch that video again once again just to clear here question is coming always what is the difference between ideal and non ideal solution 
A non-ideal solution are those solutions which do not obey Rolle's law. Over the entire range of concentration, delta H is not equal to zero, delta B is not equal to zero. So it means that there are two states uh, due to the two states, like positive deviation and not negative deviation is there. So as uh, non-solution is not equal, so that's why it is showing the positive, either positive de deviation or negative deviation. In the form of graph, we have done this. As a uh, uh, graph is showing above the main line, if there is above the main line, then suppose this is up this is also up this is also up the range of the graph then it is positive if it is below then it is negative now what is the difference between positive and negative deviation now in which positive in which a b interaction a b means solute solvent interaction is bigger than solute solvent solvent or solute solute interaction delta h is always positive delta b is always positive whereas in negative it will be opposite a b interaction is greater than a and b b so delta h is negative always delta b is negative always okay so after this one more topic we have done in this that we have done uh, on the basis of osmotic pressure so fourth fourth property is colligative properties and bent off factor in which bent off factor is a separate topic osmotic pressure we will discuss so first let's discuss about the colligative property it is very very important topic in this chapter as we have done colligative colligative mean collective so we will take all the collective properties all the properties of solution in collective way together these depend only upon the number of solid particle not on the nature so first colligative property is relative lowering in vapor pressure lowering means decrease in pressure it means that the moment number of uh, solute particle will increase or decrease so the vapor pressure of solvent and solute is different than the vapor pressure of solution where vapor pressure of solution will be decreased with the increase in temperature okay so it is showing that relative lower vapor pressure is directly proportional to more fraction of solute so equation is coming p1 naught minus p1 upon p1 naught the derived this is the drive equation please go through that video where i have explained how to drive the relative lowering vapor pressure so we can calculate the mole fraction here x2 with the help of this formula w2 upon m2 w2 is mass of solute upon molar mass of solute w1 upon m1 mass of solvent upon molar mass of solvent plus w2 upon m2 this is simply n 2 upon n1 plus n2 that you know very well okay so elevation in boiling point it means that increase in boiling point now now delta tb is the change in boiling point tb is initial boiling point tb naught is uh, tb is final boiling point and tb naught is the initial boiling point so how to write with the help of this formula we can write delta tb is equal to kb upon kb into m small m is molarity so molarity formula is w2 into 1000 upon m2 into w1 so with the help of this formula we can calculate the elevation in boiling point similar with depression in freezing point it is opposite to this where delta t b we have written here we will write delta t f and delta t f naught minus t f or delta t f is equal to k f into m so it was similar like k f into m k b into m so m is similar k f into w2 into 1000 upon m2 and w1 these two formula is same but one in one it is elevation in second it is depression okay and the last property is osmosis it is the process of movement of solvent particle through a sample member from the solution to low concentration or to high concentration we have discussed some of the practical application of osmosis also we discuss isotonic hypertonic hypotonic also so please again go through that video and just revise all the things each things are interrelated to related to each other so you need to keep the whole chapter like a story okay last is osmotic pressure which is related by pi it is the pressure applied on solution side to the stop the process of osmosis so continue osmosis is there from solution to sol solvent to solution so to stop that the opposite pressure which is there that is called osmotic pressure and it is related to pi into c into r into t where c is n upon v in case of volume and r is gas gas law gas constant and t is temperature so with the help of this formula we can find out now talk about the bent of factor after osmotic pressure the theoretical uh, calculation or theoretical uh, numericals are known as bent of factor it is noted with i it is the ratio ratio mean uh, like suppose uh, if you have 10 toffees and if two toffees are uh, you missed two toffees so what is the ratio of losing the toffees that is 2 upon 10 in the same way it is the ratio of experimental and calculated value of colligative property so here some numericals are there we need to calculate it so it is related to association and dissociation two types of uh, uh, suppose i am taking a simple example like take an example of a solution suppose solution is kcl okay now you have to see after the dissociation or association what will happen to kcl 
the either the value of this i if it is same one then it is non non electrolytic solution if it is more than one then it is going to be dissociation this kcl will dissociate then if this is less than one then it, this kcl going to be uh, this kcl going to be associate this is association and this is dissociation okay and the value of uh, uh, solvent before going to association and dissociation is one i is equal to one at that point where it is in case of dissociation then uh, we will take it alpha this is the alpha then one alpha one and it is totally depending upon the moles suppose here one mole of kcl is there the one mole of k and one mole of cl is there sometimes what is happening k2 so4 is there so you can see two mole of k will come and so4 two negative will come so it means that here two alpha will come okay so like this way you need to take care while numerical this is the most important so this is all about this chapter solution and the revision map or solution we did hope so you understood and you uh, recapitulate everything within this video so with this the chapter is finished today i'm sharing one pdf to you related to exercise of this chapter tomorrow is sunday go through all the questions and uh, let me know for your doubts or for your queries i'm ready to solve all the problem with this dear students two units we have finished so now we are going to start from monday third unit electrochemistry that is also related to the same so till then you just uh, keep studying digital classes keep revising all the things and just revise in a recycle way now some of the question will take from first, first chapter some of the question will take from second chapter for next test okay so till then stay home stay safe and keep enjoying the digital classes give me your positive feedbacks or any inquiries suggestions to make these digital classes better and better for the effective result okay so thank you have a nice day